Hey, my beautiful people. Welcome to the future of AI. In this video, I will tell you how you can create consistent characters using Leonardo.ai. Remember that you cannot create very similar characters, but yes, we can play with the prompts and at least generate some resemblance in the characters. Before that, I would request you to subscribe my channel, The Future of AI, for more amazing AI tutorials. So, let's get started. Go to ChatGPT and ask it to write a short conversation between a girl named Catherine and her husband named Marcus. So it has generated us a short conversation between them and we will generate its images. So the most important thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to name the character. Whatever character's image you are generating, you have to give it a name. So here I am going to generate a girl named Catherine. So I have told in the prompt that I'm talking about a girl Catherine. So the tool will remember that how Catherine looks like. So um, in this, I will generate a scene in which Catherine is sitting on a couch. So you can see here are the images. If you don't like the images, you can change the prompt a little bit. Like if you're talking about a girl, you have to mention what kind of hair you want, what kind of dress you want. So uh, write the prompt in detail. So here are the images. Um, we will select any image we like. So I will download the image I like. This one. So just save the image in your gallery. So now we will create the character Marcus. So just write the prompt again. So uh, we will not remove the first prompt. We will continue further. I want an image in which Marcus is sitting on a couch with Catherine. So I will mention all the details. You have to write all the details like what Marcus is wearing, what kind of hair he have. So after that, just click on generate and let's check what it generates for us. So here I am not much satisfied with the results. So I will tell you another trick for generating similar images. Just go over here and click on image to image. Upload image that we saved earlier. So here our image is uploading. So here we will uh, write our prompt more perfectly. So I will mention here that I want Marcus sitting on the couch with Catherine. So after writing your prompt, just simply click on generate button and let's check now what it generates for us. So here our images are ready and you can see um, I'm totally satisfied with the results. Here Marcus is sitting with Catherine, exact image that I wanted. It's the exact character that I downloaded and I wanted. So um, it's the trick that you can use so i will go back to chat gpt and uh, here now i have to create scenes related to the conversation they are doing so um now i will add more details to the prompt i want catherine and marcus uh, to look at each other i want an image in which both of them are looking at each other and having a conversation so i will uh, write a prompt according to that also now i will delete the previous image and add the image in which marcus and uh, catherine are sitting together so that i can get the similar images after that click on generate and uh, here are the images ready and you can see it's somehow related to the prompt i wrote i will save the image you can see that uh, in the images catherine is looking towards marcus so in the next scene marcus tells catherine about his day and he was really tired after the whole day so i want an image in which marcus is looking tired so i will mention these details in the prompt so it can generate similar images click on the generate button once your prompt is written now you can see marcus is looking tired in the picture so i will save the image i like so this is how you can generate similar images by giving the character names and by uploading the image so it can generate some similar images related to that so this is how you can play with the tools and play with the prompts 
to generate similar images i know it's not that much perfect like my journey but still it's a free tool and it's an alternative of my journey so you have to bear with these little flaws still it's a very great tool to generate images So let's just try something else. I will remove the image and write another prompt over here. So remember that you have to give a name to the character. So I will write a boy named Vasquez sitting on a sand in a beach. So you you have to select Leonardo Creative or Dream Shaper or RPG 4.0. So I will select RPG 4.0 and after that just click on the generate button. So here we have got some images. You can see the face of the boy and all the images are similar. So I will download the image I like. After downloading the picture, you have to repeat the same procedure that we did before. Just upload the image over here. Now let's just change the prompt and let's check it out if it generates a similar image or not. I will write here um, Vasquez sitting on a couch in the living room. So after writing a prompt, click on the generate button and let's check it out. So here our images are ready. You can see the face of the boy is similar but I'm not satisfied with the uh, results. So let's change the prompt. I remove the image to check the results without it so you can see we have got the images and the boy looks similar uh, his face is similar so let's check out another prompt you can download the image you like after that let's just change the prompt and check the results so i will write here a boy sitting on a bed so let's check So here you can see that the face of the boy is exactly like uh, in the previous images. So naming the character helps a lot. Let's just compare the pictures. You can see the face of the boy is similar in all the images. So this is how you can do it. Naming the character really helps a lot. So let's try another prompt. I will write here that he is standing in the kitchen and eating fruits. So um, let's check its results. So you can see the face of the boy is again same like the previous images. So that's it. This is how you can use this trick and generate kind of similar images, similar characters. So that's all. Please do like and subscribe to support me so I can make more future AI videos for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.